Lairhouse Judaica, in partnership with the Osher Marin JCC, presented a half-day conference in March 2013 entitled Free-Ranging Communities, Jewish Life in Marin and Hollywood. Part of the day focused on the diversity that makes Marin County, California special to seven different voices from our community. In this segment, you'll meet Gina Waldman, a civil rights activist and co-founder of Jemena, Jews indigenous to the Middle East and North Africa. Gina was born in Libya, fled to Italy, then immigrated to the San Francisco Bay Area. Hi, <clears throat> I'm Gina Waldman. I was born and raised in Tripoli, Libya. And um, unlike most of you, I'm not an Ashkenaz. I um, worked as the first director of the Bay Area Council for Soviet Jews. And uh, many of you came to a lot of the demonstrations that we organized. And I'm now the co-founder and president of Jimena, Jews indigenous to the Middle East and North Africa. Thank you for your support. I'm a refugee from the Middle East, but I'm not a Palestinian. I'm a Jew. Jews lived in Middle East and North Africa for over 3,000 years. I grew up in Tripoli, Libya, in a very anti-Semitic environment. I was raised in a very orthodox home, but I had to attend Catholic schools because the government Arab schools were extremely anti-Semitic and taught Jewish hatred and hatred against Israel. I can recite you any prayer you wish in Latin, but unfortunately, I was not able to learn Hebrew, and I envy all of you that went to Camp Swig. Hebrew was forbidden. In 1967, in the aftermath of the Six-Day War, 850,000 Jews were expelled or forced to flee from throughout North Africa and the Middle East. At that time, I was 19 years old. My family was expelled from Tripoli, Libya, again in 1967, with $20 and one suitcase. Everything else was confiscated by the government. On the way to the airport, the driver and the conductor attempted to burn the bus that my family was on. We were miraculously rescued by two British Christian men. We escaped to Italy, and eventually I made my way to San Francisco in 1969. I was then 21 years old, and I became the very first director of the Bay Area Council for Soviet Jews, and I started rescuing Ashkenazi Jews from Russia. I took several trips to the Soviet Union, smuggled Hebrew books to Jewish refuseniks, and Christian Bibles to, uh, to many Christians in the former USSR. I had many run-ins with the KGB, and I smuggled the Nobel Peace Prize speech of Andrei Sakharov. During my years of activism for Soviet Jewry, I was arrested twice. I chained myself to the gate of the Soviet consulate to gain publicity for Anatoly Sharansky and countless of Jewish prisoners who were languishing in Siberia. About 10 years ago, after 9-11, I co-founded an organization that you're familiar with called Jimena, the Jews indigenous to the Middle East and North Africa, to educate and advocate on behalf of nearly one million Jews who, like myself, were made refugees from the Arab countries. 
Understanding the Jewish experience in Arab countries is crucial to understanding the contemporary Middle East. If we do not understand the issue of Palestinian refugees, we cannot understand at the same time the issue of the Jewish refugees. We must understand both of them. The international community is and remains indifferent to our historical injustice. We feel abandoned by United Nations, the Jewish world, and in general, American Jewry. When I first came to San Francisco, people would say to me, how could you be Jewish? You don't speak Yiddish. That's right, I speak Arabic. Today, we are here to understand that Jews come in many colors and in many shapes. You don't have to be an Ashkenaz to be a Jew. Understanding diversity means understanding that Mizrahi Jews, Moroccan, Algerian, Tunisian, Libyan, Egyptian, Iraqi, Syrian, Yemenite, Lebanese, Iranian, Turkish, comprise more than 52% of Israel's population today. That's right, 52%. We are the majority. Understanding diversity means that their customs and traditions from food, dress, Arabic and Farsi, and religious practice are different than Ashkenazi. Appreciating the, that most American Mizrahi and Sephardic Jews are first and second generation, that they have, they have been traumatized and are challenged by the issues that all new immigrants were settling in a new countries. We don't know Yiddishkeit. We are Yehud Mil Balad Al Arab. We are Jews from the Arab countries. For Passover, we don't eat gefilte fish. We do eat a very delicious spicy fish called harami. The more we are able to bring Jews displaced from the Middle East and North Africa and Iran under the tent, the stronger our home and Israel will be. That is why I'm asking you to reach out to Sephardic and Mizrahi Jews to tell their story and join our collective efforts to celebrate diversity. Thank you.